Hey, so there was basically just one thing that was not correct in the definition, which uh, prevented you from getting the results that you actually wanted. And that was the fact that uh, you were creating random numbers um, down here and using these numbers to then uh, set the search radius um, in which to search for uh, circles um, to connect to. And as you can see, this then gives this uh, result that you've been seeing that uh, the smaller circles are connected, the larger circles aren't, and it's just, uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any, any logic uh, behind which circles are connected and which aren't. And instead what you should use is uh, the actual radius of the specific circles that you uh, get from the kangaroo solver and uh, put this into uh, uh, this part where it's actually established which uh, circles are connected together, um, the ones that are within a certain radius of each other. And um, then you actually get, with a bit of fine tuning of this, of this value, you actually get uh, the correct amount or the correct indices of the, uh, of, the, um, of the circles that are supposed to be connected. And yeah, this is then uh, gone into the curve proximity component and then the circles are connected. Um, just a hint or something that I also tried uh, was to basically, um, instead of looking for a certain radius of, uh, of the circles, to always use uh, the closest, the closest, um, the closest circles. For example, the, the six closest circles, if you have a, a circle packing on the surface, they are usually um, six circles around each other. And um, this is something that I tried over here, but in the end it was not necessary. And actually the, the way you uh, built the definition uh, worked actually quite well. And the only thing was that the numbers were random instead of the ones that were supposed to be connected. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know.